everybody and welcome back to the channel. For those of you guys who don't already know us, this is Maya. I'm her person, Kayla, and today we're making a treasure box. So let's get started. Dogs' noses are incredible. They have 300 million olfactory sensors compared to the average human's 6 million. I love encouraging Maya to use her nose to find her food because it can really stimulate her corgi brain, and treasure boxes are a perfect way to do just that. Making a treasure box for your dog is easy to do and you don't have to spend any extra money. In a size appropriate box, meaning that your dog can touch the bottom, sprinkle some of your chosen dog safe food. For this video, I chose carrots, one of Maya's favorites, and her normal breakfast kibble. Then place a few toys on top of the treats and keep in mind that you don't have to completely cover the food because we're about to add more toys in just a minute. A couple tips for you. I like trying to place some of Maya's flat toys near the bottom of the box, and I also have a habit of using some of her small toys to tuck into the corners. Once you're happy with your first layer, add more food on top, and then another layer of toys. There aren't any hard or fast rules about how to make treasure boxes, so if you have a big enough box and a large enough selection of toys and treats, you can keep adding more. No matter how many treats and toys you use, for your dog's safety, you should always supervise them as they play. Plus, it'll give you the chance to see your dog's problem-solving strategy. Do they dump all of the toys out at once? Do they pick them up individually and place them outside of the box? Or do they dive right in and bury their head, kind of like Maya does? My favorite thing about creating treasure boxes for Maya is that every treasure box naturally looks different. And if you're intentionally creative with this activity, then you can find hundreds, if not thousands of ways to make it different every single time. You can change the food that you use, you can change the toys that you use, you can change the box that you use, and so on and so forth. It's super fun to make it a little bit different every single time for our dogs. And if you guys try this at home, I want to know how your box looked different than mine today. So let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this, just hit subscribe and ring the bell so you receive notifications every single time we post a new video. In the meantime, thanks so much for joining us for this one. We hope you liked it and pass it on.